In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the complete setup of HP Dexjet 4255E all-in-one printer. First step is to take the printer out of the box and then we have to plug in the power cable at the back of the printer. Power cable goes here, so just connect this side. Next step is to switch on the printer, so press the power button. Once your printer is on, we will install the setup in cartridges and we will load the paper tray. Now open the front door, just pull it outside. And this is also a paper output tray, so you can hold the paper. And pull this door out, wait for the chamber to move and come into the middle. And remove the ink cartridges from this plastic packaging. Once you remove the ink cartridges from the packing, you just remove all the seals. Now we have to install the ink cartridge. So place it here and push it with your finger. Hold the printer with the other hand. And now we can close the ink chamber. Next step is to load the paper. Paper tray is at the rear side. So slide it out. Load letter size or A4 size paper also the blue light will start to flash that means your printer is ready for the setup and it will display the estimated level of ink on the display panel so let's do the wireless setup of the printer for that you need a laptop macbook or you can use a smartphone i'm going to use iphone download the hp smart app you can download it from the app store open this app in this app we have to add the printer so you can select setup or add printer or plus button anything select new printer select HP Dexjet 4200 series make sure your smartphone is connected to your home or office network and it will display your Wi-Fi next step is to enter your Wi-Fi password once you are ready click on the continue Press the flashing information button on the printer panel. Continue the setup process. Printer is connected to the Wi Fi network. Click continue. Select accept all, so this will help to install the printer. It will ask you to enter the pin of the printer, pin is always here. Open the ink door and you will see there is a pin number written there. Close it and then click on the submit. It will take you to the HP Plus and you can enjoy the HP Plus benefits. It also gives option for the ink. You can just use it for the trial for 3 months. And if you want to just enable it, you can just go ahead. Or if you don't want to use this option, just click on the do not enable ink delivery. Skip the offer or you can try later, remind me later. So skip later. We have already closed the cartridge door, ink is already installed, paper is already there, so click continue. Let's print the welcome sheet, that will give a confirmation if printer working or not. printer is working so 
if you want you can send link to other devices or you can skip it you will see your printer with estimated level of ink and you can start using it for wireless printing and scanning this printer has a ADF tray so you can use it for the copy or scanning the multiple pages if you want to do the multiple copies just place all the pages here and hit the copy button it will just do the copy one by one so I'll just show you all the three things so let's start with the copy I'm going to do one black and white and one color copy so place the page like this and just hit the copy button and it will start the copy process so ADF tray is very helpful it's a really good feature you don't have to open the lid and place the page each time to do the copies so you can do the multiple copies using this so that was the black and white next is the color and scanner like you can use it for copy of passport IDs and for normal documents you can just open it place it here and hit the copy button and it will start the copy process let's do the wireless printing and scanning if you want you can also add this printer in different devices you can add in a macbook laptop or computer so let's do the scanning again for the scanning you can use the scanner pad you can place the page here and do scanning or you can use the top ADF tray to scan multiple pages so that will save the time so let's scan the multiple pages here again you can place it here in the same way you can extend the tray it goes here go to the app and click on the scan option printer scan click on the printer scan and then if you want you can select the batch photo document there are different things you can also change the dpi and click on the scan icon it has started the scanning process so let's see how <coughs> let's see how long it takes for the scanning of two pages both the pages has started to show up we can close this scanning is done and both the pages are here if you want you can just click on the save or share you can change the name of the file you can select it as a just basic PDF it will scan all pages as a single file or use as an image so if you have photos you can just do that and then click on the continue screen you can save it to the files and click on the save icon let's do the wireless printing that you can go and from do from the mobile laptop or macbook and you can just do it from anywhere from your home because it is connected to the wi-fi network so select any document and then click on the print preview make sure your printer is displaying here and then you can click on the print button
so right now i have done the printing and this way we can do the complete wireless setup of the printer using the home or office wi-fi network and the hp smart app and a smartphone and this way we can do the wireless printing scanning and the copy using this printer if you want to know how to use this printer if you don't have a home or office wi-fi network then you can watch my video on the wireless setup of the printer where you have the two options using home wi-fi network or using the inbuilt wi-fi of the printer thanks for watching